Today we're talking about Higgsfield Popcorn, which is a new feature by Higgsfield where you upload a single photo, it generates four different photos for you based off whatever prompt you put in. So you have all your different starting photos of your scene. And then from there, you can use those starting photos to generate videos and then piece them all together to make a continuous story. So in theory, it should look like this. The question is, does it work that well? And we're about to answer it. As always, I'll have a link in the description below, but you can go to Higgsfield.ai at the top. You can click popcorn. It is free. It's their new feature. They give you some generations per day and you can upload a photo and you can upload up to four photos and you can combine them. But let's start off really simple. Let's just start with one upload, one photo. So we're going to start off with this photo here, which is a photo of AI Dana, and we are going to put in a prompt. So we can actually describe the mood, the action, and it's going to generate whatever number of results we pick. So we can pick this drop down, and then we can say, hey, seven results, three results, whatever we want, it will do it. Or we can click manual, and it will. we can just go through manually and enter in what we want each scene starting image to be. But let's just kind of go back to auto for a second. So let's say we said the lady is sitting down and eating popcorn. We can hit generate for free. So what's happening now is it's generating two different starting images for us for our scene where this lady, AI Dana, is eating popcorn. And by that, I mean, if you think about video generation in this way where you have like your starting image and then you upload that and you say, hey, can you generate this video? It's going to generate like an eight to 10 second clip based off depending on which tool you're using. But if you had the next starting image that matched the the original one with a consistent character you can actually just follow it through and say hey here's our next one let's kind of make it work let's start from there so we have a consistent character so what Higgsville popcorn does is you upload one photo and you can have like a consistent scene throughout so you can see here we have our first photo and this is ai dana eating popcorn and she is still wearing the same exact clothes as before and here she is she has some she just drops some popcorn on her lap. So we can actually generate this now. We can say, hey, she's eating popcorn. And we can generate the first video clip where she's eating popcorn. And then the second one, or we can even go from this frame to that frame. So we, there's some options. But the second one, we can say, hey, she drops some popcorn on her lap as she's eating. She looks at the camera smiling. We have like a little continuous scene that looks like this. So for this version here, I just have a starting image and an ending image. And we'll try to make like a longer clip in this video, but you can see it looks pretty good. It's like very consistent. We actually have exactly what we want to start with and exactly what we want to end with. This time around, let's really test the limits of Higgsfield popcorn. So we are going to use the same photo of AI Dana, but this time around, we're going to give it a bag of popcorn we want her to have. We're going to give it some seats that we want her to sit in, and we are going to have her walk up to the snack counter. So let's come back here. I have all of them uploaded and we just have to give it a prompt. Our prompt is the lady walks into a movie theater, orders a bag of popcorn from the snack counter, grabs a bag as seen in the image I uploaded and walks over and sits down on a seat. Also, I wanna point out that you can change the aspect ratio. So we're just gonna make it widescreen this time around and we're going to hit generate. So we have in queue our images that are uploading that are being created with consistent characters. So you can see here we have four images made and we have our first one here. It's AI Dina. She's like walking into the snack area. It's the two photos combined. You can see here she's talking, trying to order popcorn. And now she's grabbing popcorn from the counter and she's sitting down watching a movie. So we can actually use these four clips now and we can click animate. It is going to bring this image right into Higgsfield. Now we're in the Higgsfield create section. You can see the image uploaded. We can even add an end frame if we want. So we go from one frame to the next. We can change the model and they have all the different models we can use. And we can go from like Higgsfield light and we can add a prompt and we can combine it all to create this. Hi there. Can I get one of the large popcorns, please? Absolutely. Anything else for you today? Just the popcorn, thanks.
So I think Higgsville Popcorn really takes the hardest part of video generation and just simplifies it all down. So now with just like one image upload, I can have an entire storyboard and have all these starting images or start and end frames, and then I can create videos substantially faster. If you ever try to generate AI clips, the hardest part is character consistency, and it does a very good job at this. So based off how it works, I kind of see this as like a storyboard generator, an image editor, and a scene creator to create my story however I want it to be. So now you can see we had this photo here. This is what we started with, that just her with her popcorn. And now we can extend that little clip I showed you before, and we can add in these new keyframes, and we can say, hey, she picks up the bag, and she's eating popcorn, and she's just there watching the movie, and we can, like, go into her face. But the important thing in all this is she is very consistent. All throughout, as it's generating all these little images, it is very consistent. So we don't have to sit there and prompt the AI, hey, can you tweak this? Can you change that? Hey, you made a mistake here. It keeps it all consistent for you. And you can see just like one prompt, we have all four of these. And this is just her sitting down watching a movie eating popcorn and she spills it all on her lap. I think Higgsfield Popcorn is a really powerful tool and especially considering they give you a ton of free ones per day that you can just use and generate. So just like one image can become four, one of those four images can become four more. You just keep expanding out for however many you need. And I know some people will find Higgsfield a little expensive. I think the fact you can generate all these free on a daily basis is pretty cool, at least at the time of recording. So if it's no longer the case, don't get upset and drop a comment down below. I'm just telling you based off right now when I'm recording this. And those four images are extremely powerful because now you can drop them into Higgsfield to generate the video, or you can take those four images and drop them into wherever you want to help you generate videos to make them flow together to make your scene, to make your vision come to life. I'd love to know what you think. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on this. Is Higgsfield popcorn something you're going to use? I think it's going to make video movie making a lot easier than ever before. Like the entire AI process is substantially easier and it progressively gets easier. I made an AI movie like months ago. I tried doing exactly this, but I did it all manually through prompting and it was not easy. This made it substantially easier. So I might try to make another movie in the near ish future and I can try out Higgsfield Popcorn to help me because I think I just think it makes it easier to make the movie and make all the little clips and scenes. Just what are your thoughts are in general about something like this? Do you want to see AI made movies? I do like the idea that like your regular everyday people will not have the ability to bring their ideas to life in a actual way that other people can enjoy that idea. So if you have like an creative movie idea, you can actually make it now. Uh, on the same token, I kind of see vibe coding in a very similar light where I am a programmer and I've been programming like my entire life. I like the idea that people can take their idea and actually bring it to life now using just AI. So I'm kind of for this stuff. I think it's kind of cool. But what are your thoughts? Leave a comment down below. If you guys stayed this long, don't forget to subscribe. I cover AI on a daily basis. Like the video, tell the algorithm, hey, I enjoy this type of content. I want to see more of it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with another AI video. Too scared.